Hi, we're here at the National Hurricane Center late on this Tuesday afternoon with the latest on extremely dangerous Hurricane Melissa, which made landfall early this afternoon on the southwest coast of Jamaica as a powerful Category 5 hurricane. The eye of Melissa has moved across Jamaica and is emerging off the north coast, now about 15 miles east of Montego Bay, moving off to the north northeast at 8 miles per hour. So for people in Jamaica, still very dangerous conditions across the island, a hurricane warning in effect. The potential for destructive winds and damaging winds likely to continue across Jamaica this evening, especially on the north coast, especially in the uh, areas of high topography. We still have you know, tropical storm conditions across the island, hurricane warning in effect, the potential for uh, 6 to 12 inches of additional rainfall across the island, leading to isolated storm totals as high as 30 inches. So stay in your safe place, stay in a safe shelter overnight in Jamaica and listen to any guidance you get from your local officials about when it might be safe to venture out uh, as we go into the day on Wednesday, but still a very dangerous few hours ahead for Jamaica. Now, if we move on uh, upstream or downstream, we're going to see the uh, center of Melissa move out to the north of Jamaica and approach the southeastern coast of Cuba overnight and early Wednesday. We're seeing tropical storm conditions spread across southeastern Cuba now. And if we zoom out, we can see that the center of Melissa expected to make landfall somewhere along the southeastern coast of Cuba in the early morning hours of Wednesday as a powerful major hurricane. So expecting widespread destructive winds near the core of Melissa as it moves across southeastern Cuba, uh, moving off now to the north northeast at about eight miles per hour. And that forward speed's going to increase, so those conditions are going to rapidly deteriorate during the evening hours. Uh, we're expecting a storm surge of 8 to 12 feet above normal tide levels near and to the right of where the center crosses the coast in southeastern Cuba tonight, uh, and the potential for some very heavy rainfall widespread totals of 10 to 20 inches, isolated amounts as high as 25 inches from Manzanillo over to Santiago de Cuba into the Guantanamo province, leading to catastrophic flash flooding. Numerous landslides are likely in those areas. So you, know, you need to be in your safe place to spend the night uh, in southeastern Cuba as Melissa's effects approach. Uh, farther downstream, we're going to see the center of Melissa move off of the northeastern coast of Cuba during the daytime on Wednesday and then move through the southeastern Bahamas during the afternoon and evening hours from Wednesday into Thursday of hurricane warnings in effect there with the potential or expect expectation of damaging hurricane force winds in those areas, storm surge of five to eight feet of inundation above ground level and rainfall of five to 10 inches across uh, portions of the southeastern Bahamas, in particular, very low lying islands. And if we zoom out even farther, we're going to see Melissa accelerate off into the western Atlantic, passing near or perhaps just west of Bermuda overnight Thursday night into Friday morning. We now have a hurricane watch in effect for that island. Uh, for the potential for uh, some rainfall and uh, hurricane conditions possible late Thursday into Friday. So wrapping up with the key messages here, Jamaica, the main message is stay safe, stay in shelter tonight. Damaging winds will continue. Flash flooding will continue. It's going to be widespread infrastructure damage, power outages. Communities are going to be isolated. Haiti and the Dominican Republic, Catastrophic flash flooding risk continues there. Landslides, especially across southwestern Haiti, southern portion of the Dominican Republic. Over the next day or so, those rainfall will continue there with an additional six to eight inches uh, expected in portions of those countries. Eastern Cuba, conditions are going to rapidly deteriorate tonight. Be in your safe place, preparing for damaging hurricane force winds, dangerous storm surge, and uh, potentially life-threatening flooding. And then southeastern and central Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, hurricane conditions are likely, along with life-threatening storm surge and heavy rainfall, particularly in the southeast Bahamas as we go through the day and into the afternoon hours on Wednesday. So please refer to information from your local government officials and your local meteorological service in all these countries and continue to come back here to the National Hurricane Center at hurricanes.gov for the latest on Melissa. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan.